first Ryder Cup. Pleased to be joined by U.S. Ryder Cup captain, Davis Love the third. Davis, uh, as I did with Captain Clark a few minutes ago, I'd like to ask you first about your thoughts of the ebbs and flows and the tale of two sessions in a way, and then your initial thoughts of um, Saturday morning's pairings. So maybe about today first. Yeah, certainly uh, ebbs and flows for sure. Uh, we got hot and, uh, you know, we hold a lot of putts this morning and it seemed like they lipped a few out that were crucial. Um, then the opposite this afternoon, they got on a roll with the putter. They seemed to make all the putts and we had a couple matches where we just couldn't get them to go in. So, you know, obviously um, happy to be 5-3. Um, it was a good start. It was a good day. Proud of our guys. They competed all day. Uh, even the matches that we we lost with, um, it looked like they were all runaways. The guys kept competing um, right to the end. We, we had matches, you know, that were going to 16. They didn't look like they were going to get that far. Ryan Moore made some great putts. And, and obviously, uh, Dustin's match, they came back and and made it look like they had a chance. So they, they did what they were asked to do, is, is grind it out all day. And I thought we did a really, really good job of that. And we'll just have to get some rest tonight and go do it again tomorrow. And your thoughts on what you've put in place for the morning? Well, we didn't, didn't make much uh, change, just, just switched one group um, that played uh, this afternoon to, the, to in the morning. But, you know, we felt like we had four good um, groups out this morning we feel like we got four good groups out tomorrow morning and um you know i was i was very happy with the four groups we put out in the afternoon so we just keep doing that and um let these guys go out and run and, and play and have fun wonderful let's start over with number four on our left please davis uh sort of a two-part question if i had told you at the beginning of the day you'd be up five three what would you have said and if i had told you before the afternoon session you'd be up five three what would you have said um I like being ahead. Um, you know, there's there's no two ways about it. Being ahead's great. Um, keep telling our guys there's there's eight eight points a day, and then there's 12 points on Sunday. Um, it's a long. Um, there's a lot of points out there still. You know, even after two days, the Sunday's very very important. So we have to uh, you know set a goal, and we have to pace ourselves, and we have to be rested. You know, some guys are going to have to rest in the morning. That, um, that played very well today. And, but I need them to be ready for tomorrow afternoon and we need them to be ready for Sunday. You just can't forget about Sunday and getting enough rest and, and being prepared for that. So we've, both sides have seen that, that you need to be, you can't just focus on the first two days, you have to focus on the third day. And 12 points on, on Sunday is a big day as well. So we're trying to rest, rest some guys up and, and mix it up a little bit. And I think we've, uh, we've done that so far. Straight down number two, Mark. Hey, Davis. Um, wondering what you thought of Rory's uh, celebration at the end on 16, um, and you know, do you believe in that kind of thing, providing a little motivational fodder for your guys uh, come tomorrow morning? Well, um, I think that's what's so much fun about the Ryder Cup. I mean, I'm not going to get Rory to not celebrate when he plays well, or I'm not going to get Patrick Reed to not celebrate when he plays well. I mean. He's Patrick's running around shushing people, and and um, I think I think that we're having fun. I mean, Roy's done a couple behind the scenes things um, that have been very uh, gracious, like Darren t towards our team. And um, you know, when you when you hole a putt, an eagle putt on the last hole, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so um, they had a great match. I watched I watched a lot of it. He played you know unbelievably well. He made a ton of birdies, and you know. They had some fun this afternoon. We had some fun this morning, and we got two more fun days coming up, so I expect we'll see some more of that. Far right, number three, and then we'll go to one. Three. Davis, when you get off to the start you did this morning going 4-0, and in the back of your mind, or were you talking to the players about trying to avoid complacency after getting off to such a great start? No, we didn't, we didn't talk about it. I mean, you, you got to understand, you can't just call a, call a team meeting, you know, in between. Their guys are... By the time I get off the golf course, guys are going right back out onto the golf course. And, um, you know, we were making pairings and then and telling guys what they were doing and getting back to the first tee and watching guys tee off again. So we didn't really – we talked to the guys that were going out. Um, I talked to, you know, Phil and Ricky there on 18 green. And um, 
caught Zach when he was coming up to watch the last match finish. Um, you know, it's hard to sit guys out that win. That was our problem this morning. We had we had four matches, and if you if you take somebody out, that that was a winning match. And uh, obviously, we were on a roll, but we also have four great players that um, that were sitting there ready to go, part of our plan. And then, you know, we're gonna have four great players sitting out in the morning, and it's it's hard to sit sit guys out, but. Um, we didn't talk anything about let's go get ready for the afternoon session and tonight we're going to talk about going and getting ready for the morning session and just uh, keep grinding it out until uh, until we get to Sunday night. One TJ please. Davis how important was it to you to get all 12 players out today and of course you have the, the two point lead right now but do you feel that there's any advantage going into Saturday Darren's got two guys who haven't played yet at all? Well um, the way I look at it we got to uh, a two-point advantage right now, you know, and that's that's very slim in this, but we, we are ahead. We played a lot of great golf, and when you look at it, if you don't look at the scores, you look at the way our team played, we had a lot of teams play very, very well. Um, you know, um, Patrick and Jordan this afternoon, I think we're, we're five under through 11, you know, and we're, and we're getting beat, so the, it wasn't like we were playing poorly. Sure, we could have hit a couple more fairways here or there, or could have lipped in a couple putts here or there, and it would have been a huge difference um, you know, obviously, if we, if we win one more match um, in the afternoon, it would have been a it would have been a big difference. So, but no, they um, they went at it hard today, and and they played very very well. And I'm I'm happy with what everybody did. So, you know, it'd be easy to say, well, we'll just put the same four out there. They just won, but it's a different format, so it doesn't work that way. And our guys will be. Our guys will be rested and, and motivated when they go in there, whether it's tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. And then obviously um, they'll be ready for their singles on Sunday as well. Okay, just one or two more. Let's start with number four, please. Davis, I think so far you've kept your pairs together through the first three sessions. Looking ahead to the afternoon, is it your preference that the combinations you put in place stay together? Depends how they, how they play in the morning. Um, but... Uh, we have a lot of options. We have 12 guys that are playing great. Um, I keep saying it's hard to sit four out, but that's um, that's the beauty of this team is 12 guys are playing great and they all want to play. So um, we'll see what see what tomorrow brings. Tug number one. If I if I recall, one of the things you said on that on that radio show last week was when you know you lose a hole, you lose some momentum. Sometimes guys tend to panic and play not to lose instead of to win. Was, was this afternoon any kind of a test in that regard? Yeah, I think so. We, um, you know, we switched up, we even switched up some of our assistant captains. We said, look, let, let's move around and let's, let's try to change the momentum back for them a little bit. It was obvious that, that the European team was playing great. And, um, you know, maybe a different guy shows up, different, uh, a different voice in your head or, or a different guy to, to see walking, walking along with you might have changed the momentum. It, it felt like we had a we had a chance, obviously, in in Ryan's match. He made some great putts coming in and, and gave us a chance. And then in Dustin's match, you know, Dustin and um, and Cooch, you know, they gave us a chance there. Um, obviously, we're we're one swing or one putt in both of those matches of of getting um, to 17 or 18. So it was. Um, you know, it was a all in all. Uh, it was a it was a good day, and I, I'm really happy with the way everybody just hung in there to the end. To that note, let's uh, bid you farewell for the evening. Have a good one, and uh, thank you very much. All right, thank you.